We were all expecting a brand new event here today in NHL 24, and it didn't happen. Instead, we got another week of the preseason event, and it looks like we're going to be getting four total weeks. That means eight weeks of the preseason event. This is basically your summer event. I wish they would have announced that. The new MSPs are Robert Thomas and Dylan Strom. The new 97s are Igor Shosturkin, Morgan Riley, Michael Matheson, Tim Stutzla, Kevin Fiala, and Brock Besser. The 90s are Scott Wedgwood, Mike Riley, David Savard, Colton Sissons, Eric Halla, and Jason Dickinson. And the 88s are Caden Primo, Eric Brandstrom, Ryan Paling, and Joe Valeno. This week's going to work the exact same as the previous four weeks, and that's pretty boring, I'm not going to lie. Also released today are the top three completed most nations of hockey sets, David Postonok, William Nylander, and Victor Hedman. Once again, if you collect all of the 87 overall MSPs, you'll get another 99 overall at the end of the four weeks. But it is legitimately August 16th. What are we doing here? Here's a look at Robert Thomas. He's pretty good. Like, he's a good card. But again, uh, 98 overall MSPs here in August. Gold, make it snappy. Silver, unstoppable forest. Tape to tape. Puck on a string. And elite edges. It will be a good card. There's no denying that. Taking a look at Dylan Strom as well. Gold, puck on a string. He's got silver elite edges. Close quarters. Beauty backhand. And tape to tape. 97 speed excel on a 6 foot 3 forward, 99 face offs, you can get that excel to 99, but you cannot get the speed to 99, but the acceleration boost and if you get checking boost on him will help his endurance, pretty much everything else will be 99 as well. They're good cards, they're good MSPs, but why are we still doing 98s in the middle of August? As for the Nations of Hockey cards, 99 Nylander, he has a couple of the synergies to help him out with his endurance, gold, elite edges, silver, shock and awe, beauty backhand, unstoppable forest, make it snappy and tape to tape. David Posternock, same thing can be said about him. You can help him out with his endurance. Gold, Snipe, Silver, Tape to Tape, Unstoppable Force, Elite Edges, 1T, and a Puck on a String. And then Victor Hedman, who will be one of the best cards in the entire game, and I expect to see a lot of. Gold, Shutdown, Silver, Elite Edges, 1T, Send It, Quick Pick, and Seeing Eye. If you want either of the Dylan Strom or the Robert Thomas, you can trade in 30 collectibles of the preseason event to get them. And for the Posternock, the Nylander, and the Headman, you're going to need to do the good old sets of trading in the 85s for the 88s. Trading in two 88s for a 90. And trading in four 90s, 188 and 185 for a 97 overall choice pack. Which you then need two of the 97s to get one of the 99s. Your new Nations of Hockey moments will get you an 85 random player and an 88 random player, then an 85, 88, 85, 88. That helps with the sets. And then in the preseason part two moments is a prime pack, jumbo premium. Yep, yep, yep. Same thing as last week. Power up collectibles, prime packs, whatever. Very much copy and paste. Speaking of copy and paste, let's take a look at Hut Rush, which unfortunately has not changed for a very long time. And this week is no exception. The final tier, another random 90. The only positive thing about Rush and these preseason events is that if you did every single Rush for the first four weeks, you were able to make one of the 99s, and you can do that again by doing all four weeks of this Rush as well. Yeah, you can make a 99, but like, really? Can we just not get something different? The newest packs in the store include the Player Pack with a 29% chance at a purple, the Mini Ultimate Pack with a 93% chance at a purple, and the Jumbo Elite Player Pack with a 96% chance at a purple. They've also added the Elite Weekend Flash Sale Pack, 20 items, all gold players at least 16, 80 or better, with a 35% chance of getting a 95 or better, but only a 99% chance of the purple. 225,000 coins, and you're not even guaranteed an 86. Now, with all that said, don't forget to head into the store and open up your free pack. I have still yet to get anything in these free packs. Please, let today be the day. Oh my god! The unthinkable happened! I pulled a purple in a free pack! Let the world rejoice, cows are flying, hell is frozen over, and the Leafs have won the Stanley Cup, because the impossible has happened. The Red Wings are making the playoffs. Phil Kessel is no longer eating hot dogs. The unthinkable has happened. The only new objectives this week are for the preseason week five. So you can get uh, random 85 overall players. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's just power collectibles, random 85s, a random 90, a couple power ups. And yeah, they didn't even release theme team sets. And like everyone was waiting for theme team sets. And it's just a really disappointing week. I know I'm sorry to be negative because I hate being negative. I'm not a very negative person, but today sucked. But what's not going to suck is this mini ultimate pack. This pack's going to have two 99s in it. Okay, that's not going to happen. But let's see if we can get ourselves anything good. Before we get out of here in this video, weird animation to start it off. Come on, give me a purple at least. I need at least one. Yes. Hey, I'll take a 96 Olaf Kolzig. I will absolutely take that. And a 95 Martin HS and an 87 Eichel and a 94 Lung. What was that? That was insane. That was nuts. 
that's a great way to end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hopefully, NHL 25 news will be next week. Let me know down below what you think of week five of the preseason event. Do you hate it? Because I hate it. But I appreciate you watching. Have a great night. That pack was sick. That was awesome. I need more packs like that, please.